On today's episode of Junk Wax Genius, we continue our little series that we're calling Wax On, Wax Off. One pack of true junk wax, one of uh, non-wax. So in this case, 1990 tops. It says bubblegum cards, but subscribe to the channel for wisdom like this. They're not made of bubblegum. The cards themselves are on cardstock. Chew them at your own risk. So there's our Wax On and our Wax Off. 92 Upper Deck. We could find a Williams, a Ted Williams. We could also find what we call hashtag Weird Eyes here on the channel. So let's see what we've got in 1990 tops. We'll peel the wax paper away. I can feel on the back of Dennis Lamp some wax damage. So good thing tops eventually moved on from that. On the other side of the pack, Marty Clary gets the gum skid mark. Sorry, Marty. And uh, let's see who else we've got in the pack. We've got Luis Rivera, a Sandy Koufax turn back the clock. Tim Leary, Mike Rosler, Robin Ventura. I would have been excited to get a Robin Ventura card in 1990. Rick Lucan, Tom Pegnozzi, eh, hey, Tom. <clears throat> Barry Lyons, Ken Daly, Bob Guerin, Topps All-Pro rookie. You forget that uh, old Guerin won the, the Topps trophy for catchers that year. Greg G -G -G Olson, Randy Milligan, Ken Obertfell, Gino Petrali, and Dennis Lamp. Great mustache, Dennis Lamp. Uh, so, yeah, back in 1990, I would have been excited to get Robin Ventura, and I would have been um, pretty excited to get Greg Olson. Anyway, and, and Bob Guerin, no offense. I might have put you in the binder because of the trophy, but I didn't really know who you were. So there's our 1990 tops wax on. 92 upper deck, wax off. Please do like, subscribe, leave a comment, join the community here if you haven't before. I would love to uh, see you here tomorrow for two more packs as we continue the series. There's Mike Hartley signing for a fan, maybe, or perhaps charting pitches. There's Hensley Mullins. There's Gino Petrali again. So um, we'll, we'll talk about this in a moment. Ray Sanchez, Mickey Morandini, Paul Gibson, just... Casually blowing a little bubble there. Lugo, Luis Gonzalez. Hall of Fame pitcher Lee Smith. He's got a little bit of the weird eyes going on. His uh, face is shaded by the brim of his hat, but the whites of his eyes seem to have a little extra contrast applied somehow. Okay. There's Al Osuna working the camera. Mr. Superstition himself behind those shades, Oral Hershiser. Uh, we call him Mr. Superstition. The rumor is that during his scoreless innings streak, he was eating cactus loaf from a grocery in the American Southwest called Corb Torsons. We've talked about this in the pot, or on the, the pot. We've talked about this on the, the show before. Check Twitter, Corb Torsons. Tell me if you believe Oral Hershiser's own personal denial of, of that rumor. There's Luis Polonia. Rick Aguilera. Not uh, not fully bearded in that one, but boy, look at that guy. Look at that handsome man. There's our Royals checklist. I think that's Danny Tartable. Yep. And we got doubles. Oh, boy, it's a Danny Tartable day. And there's Dean Palmer. We finished with Dean Palmer. So um, on the subject of getting the same card or the same player, that's weird. That's unusual. But um, what, what happens a lot on this channel is a phenomenon where we pull the same player out of two very different packs, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, I got two Gino Petralis here. We're going to call these double headers. Uh, we've talked about this on the channel before. Same player, two different packs in the same episode. I'm calling them double headers, so wax on, wax off, and double headers. Boy, the, the gimmicks are just flowing here today. On this episode of Junk Wax Genius, the channel on YouTube where we open old baseball cards and talk about it. Please do come back tomorrow for two more packs. Love to see you there. Thanks for watching.